We still have a lot of time left for the Android P to get the official. By the time the eligible devices, you know, in case you own the Pixel older or Pixel 2 current devices, you can install the developer preview one and you can see almost all the new features. So in the past, uh, in the couple of videos, I did have shown you the all the top 50 plus Android P's upcoming feature. So be sure to check that video in case you want to know, you know, what are the possible features that are going to come in the upcoming Android P. And also after that, we have seen what's new in this Android P based Pixel launcher. You know, whether it is needed or not needed, Google do try to change each year most of the things like settings the launcher it's good to have some kind of changes because it's good to have some tweaks some iterations to the current one because you will not get bored to it in case you're still using the same launcher from the whole year so it's good google is doing a nice way now not everybody is uh, having the pixel devices not everybody is going to get the pixel launcher or all the features very soon so i have shown you how you can sideload the apk in case you are having the android audio devices this is again a limitation but how about you know the users who are not running the android audio yet or you know who, are, who don't have any pixel devices so this is a video for you i'm going to show you how you can create the android p based pixel launcher setup using a customized launcher nova launcher and nova launcher prime now there could be other launchers too who can do the same thing i'm just showing you either using nova launcher because i'm using that so i pretty much i know that how you can do that so there are few requirements still and in case you own the nova launcher prime it is possible to get most of the features in case you're using the no launcher you can do the similar setup but you know there would be some differences like the icon sizes and all the layout some features are reserved for the pro versions so exactly it is again not 100 percent possible to create the exact setup so for that you need to install the apk in case you're rooted you can guess almost 100 percent feature in case you're not rooted the only thing you're not going to get is the google launch y feature which is the main feature of any google based launcher so just to help you guys in a better way what i have done i've written my complete blog post personally check the description i'm just going to write after filming this video so i will write most of the steps in case you want to play around more and you know you can just do follow the steps and you can do that otherwise you just need to install some few set of basic application there could be other applications too but whatever i found best one i just showed you so you just have to install that application and i'm going to share my complete nova launcher backup file in case you have the nova launcher or you can just install the nova launcher and you can just import the backup file i'll show you in a second in the video how to import the backup file then after that you can exactly get all the you know same setup that i have in my devices you can get on your device too so i'm going to show you guys demo on this uh, oneplus 5t you can install any device pretty much what you want and uh, i have installed my android p on this device this uh, uh, original pixel phone and i've installed the apk on this pixel 2 so you guys can take this as a reference in case you install the apk what kind of features you are going to get so pretty much since this is pixel phones you have this google launch live feature otherwise in case you're non-rooted you're not going to get this feature you need to root it so this is all the new stuff basically this is only the new change here and some animations feature there like there was no you know there was there used to be a vertical arrow which is just gone everything is just exactly same so set of applications you're gonna need i have a stall on the description so this is a no launcher so right here you can see this is just stall here so i'm just going to show you guys side by side uh using here like that so just you can just compare and see what kind of feature is really possible to get and what kind of feature is really not possible to get it this is what we are going to see so starting off uh, as you can see we have created this uh, dock this is dock area so uh, the google has this feature you can actually make this thing colorful or not so by the default it has this transparent so so far you can get this black one here i i guess it is not uh, very easily noticeable you can easily hide that and you can actually control the width of this uh, google search widget using this height section i've just taken the what the least i can get and we can actually change the icon shape everything else and this is uh, the glance feature of the pixel launcher you can get the similar way you have to install the an application called is another widget this is what is working from the older pixel launcher too so i have installed that i created a widget you can get there so now uh, i have changed i've tried to change this navigation bar too it is not exactly 100 percent same that what i have on pixel phone but it just looks in a similar way some slight animations lay in case you're rooted you can definitely sideload some mod you can get in better way but that is also not going to work on all the phone so you can install you can get this feature by having this pixel navigation bar so so far it just uh, gets you some kind of similar layout but inside that this is black but you cannot do that i guess on the free version and i believe it is not even possible to on this application so far it is just what you can get 
so this is where you can see and I have set this uh, icon size to so far in case you're not prime member uh, I believe you can get some you're going to get some smaller icons otherwise uh, now it is same I just try to create the maximum look and this uh, folder layout is exactly not similar because this is the best you can get on the Nova launcher going to the this folder setup so I have selected this uh, folder background to be of the pixel way but it's just not exactly possible even though this is uh, here from it looks exactly same and inside that it is slightly rounded here but here on this uh, this one is just not completely rounded so this is uh, is the slight bit of limitation on this launcher getting inside i have made this app drawer a slightly transparent which you can also see here that it's a little bit of transparent and i believe that's okay but yeah this thing you're not going to get it so this one has this google search bar so this is again limited here uh, of this launcher limitation you cannot get there now, so far you can try out the lean launcher or uh, the launcher launcher the lean launcher is the best one that can get the exactly yeah, almost 95 percent as a feature you know not even without routing so pretty much just to try just check the description there is a video link there so those are the main features that you can get so google now swipe is there you need to install a companion application to get this feature and it is very smooth it's not laggy as you can see it just works very great and to get this notification dot feature you have to install this uh, tesla coil and under it feature this notification badge you have to enable that the link of also this is in the description and you have to make it the small to match it perfectly now you can see actually i have changed the layout so go back to the same setting and uh, this is small and you can just select the position this is what now it exactly looks in the similar way and going inside to get this wallpaper feature you need to install this google wallpaper application so that link also in the description then after that uh, you can actually go from here applications theme wallpaper you can get almost everything the current wallpaper that is set here is from this uh, seascape so you can get almost exactly similar thing what you want so i'm going to show you guys how to import the backup on the galaxy s8 so in case so before you install that launcher try to install all the related application because you know once you after that once you install all the application once you first time uh, install the no launcher it will ask you to import the backup file you just have to go uh, browse for that and be sure to download the backup file before even you try to import it so first download the backup file then install any other application except the no you know Nova launcher after that at the last you should install the Nova launcher once you open the Nova launcher it will ask you to browse the backup file or any existing setup you just have to go there and you can do that so after that you will get exactly the similar layout like that you can see on my galaxy s9 plus now again in case you already have installed the nova launcher you just have to go to the setting and there at the bottom uh, you can see uh, this is the backup import setting you just have to click here and restore the manage backup files just uh, browse here and uh, you can see this is my latest backup file 2017 that i have shared you you just have to long press and select it just have to open it it will simply browse and import and something I wanted to show you as a side bonus too. So if you have watched my previous video, you might have seen like Android P also brings the new soundbar, you know, navigation bar instead of on the top, you should be getting something here on just near the power button. You can get the similar feature, near about a similar feature using an application called as an Android P soundbar. So the link of this is also in the description. You just have to configure it. And after that, you can see, uh, not exactly same, but uh, almost a similar behavior. You can get this uh, with this uh, navigation bar, soundbar button too, which is cool actually on the the right spot so this is again a side bonus you can get so just try to install that application it's very easily configurable you can control anything like the media the ring thing and you can just control everything from here so guys there it is this is your pixel launcher setup that is being created using no launcher prime almost looks alike in the same way except few things like this google search bar there otherwise everything is just exactly same so check the old video for all the features for the you know android p what's new in there and what's new in the android p pixel launcher hope you get it enjoyed it this is sort of and catch you guys very soon in the next video till then have a great day